Let's have some fun with the comments reading from Moto. I always like how this man make those creative rhythms and then try to emulate it as close as I can. The basic vibe you're hearing in this song is the, the kind of zook clave, what I call it, or soca clave, or rhythm, what you call it. And that basic rhythm goes like this. One E and A two E and A three E and A four E and A one. But it's easy to hear, you hear it really throughout the whole song. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just play it on the hi-hat and on the side stick together and play four on the floor with a kick. If you want to play along with this song in a simple manner, it's just the same thing what I did just now, but just uh, hit the snare and the hi-hat instead of the side stick, and then you can play the basic song. Or you could even just hit eight notes on the hi-hat and then keep the snare doing the same thing. That way you get the main groove going through the song. But you can check out by Moto, um, he also explains that he also adds different sounds to that. I think you see you have about seven or something snares layer on top of each other, so I'm gonna get all into that. But I'm gonna try to come a little close. One thing he has different is um, the hi-hat playing the same groove the whole time and uh, a side stick going the whole time. And then you hear a snare on the end of two. You can try to emulate the side stick and the snare with one hand. If you want to have some more fun with that and keep the side stick going, instead of going like this, I have one here too, on, this, um, on the Roland SPD SX. So now I can keep the side stick going and then play the hi-hat and the snare with my right hand. Something like this. Another thing um, I saw in the video where he explained, he has like a snare drum answering this, this snare drum. That answering snare drum will come, come out like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... That extra snare drum, I'm going to try and emulate that with a different kind of sounding snare drum than this one. Let me first show you just the hi-hat only, the side stick and the snare drum. As you can see, it's the whole time um, the left hand and the right hand actually playing the same thing. It's only different voices over the drum kit. The last piece of the puzzle, let me add that snare drum um, what we were hitting before on the end of two and mix it up with the other sounds. On a higher tempo, it will come out like this. That's a little way to have some fun with this song. I hope you enjoyed the instruction and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already or leave a comment if you have any suggestions.